This is the ITL P55G, the top tier in the P55 series. So this month, ITL brought out four phones in the P55 lineup: the P55, P55 T, P55 Plus, and P55 5G. And as you saw in the title of this video, we're only going to be looking at the P55 5G and why I think this is the best ITL phone. Today. Now, the first thing we're going to be looking at is the price. What are you actually paying for this smartphone? So, you're paying 138,000 Naira or $120. And for that, you're getting 8 gig of RAM and 128 gig of storage. So, basically, it's the cheapest 5G phone you can buy. And you know, to make a budget phone, you always have to kind of cut corners and make sacrifices to keep it more affordable now when it comes to the p55 5g the first noticeable cut corner you might see on the phone is on the front you can see it it's the notch okay it's not really a big deal because on the samsung a14 it also has this teardrop notch and that phone costs 204,000 naira. so yeah not not really a big deal now another noticeable part is the design but here we're not going to be talking about the cut corners but the good the phone has a unique look uh with this two camera setup and this kind of writing by the side that says 5g personally i think it's kind of cool and when it comes to external features we get fingerprint scanner that's averagely fast and also serves as the power button the sim card tray that has been modernized to look expensive while it's not and the next category is going to be talking about the processor but hold on we'll get to that i'm just wondering why you guys watching this video haven't subscribed and liked to my channel please do that to really mean a lot and let's jump back into the video now when the processor powering this smartphone is the mediatek dimensity 6080 it's a 6 nanometer processor that was released at the second half of the year. Now, on this processor is easily the best processor in the P55 series or any other ITEL phone to date. Tasking would be great, opening and closing apps would be better. And when it comes to gaming, you can it's great and you could play games like Ashvat 9 and FIFA Mobile. You you could play Ashvat 9 on this phone with no problems. So this phone is the best performance in the Pro 5 series. But there's a downside. You get, you might be asking, what is that downside? So that downside is that the phone can't really play high graphic games, or it can't play games on the highest of settings. But you can put it on a mid-range setting. But aside from that, it works well. And the camera has some new features you might like. Like one, you see those three lines by the side? Yeah, it takes directly to the camera features. And now you can even rearrange the camera features based on your liking. Another feature is that the phone allows you to take pictures and change the sky in the background. It's called the sky shop mode. Now the last feature is the slow mode mode that allows you to switch from 120 frames per second to 240 frames per second. Not all phones have this feature, but this one does. So that's a win. Now night modes are good. At least you can see what you're taking picture of. And when you turn on the flash, it becomes better. Now we get on the 50 megapixel main camera. It's nice and very vibrant and project shots are nice too. Video footage is also decent, also comes with the 8 megapixel selfie camera. Now last but not least, we'll talk about the design. We get a 6.6 inch IPS LCD display, 90 hertz and 500 nits of peak brightness. So watching content will be pretty good, but we also get a dynamic bar that also resembles the ITEL A70 but there's a thick, kind of thick bezels around the phone and especially around the bottom so you have to contend with it the display isn't really something you expect from a 5G phone but since you're paying less and you're getting more you can't really complain now to conclude this whole video 
Should you buy the ITEL P55G? Well, yes, I will highly recommend buying this smartphone because it's 5G and it's on a budget. So there's not really any reason why you shouldn't buy this smartphone. But yeah, that's my review on the ITEL P55G. And if you found this video helpful, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And to the side is my review on the P55 Plus. So go check that out. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.